through a two practical examples. The first called a, called a Fulham, Fulham wall sit, which is a training tool. The second called a Freeman, another training tool. And then everyone in this room can use that with, with team sports. The third thing I want to talk about is recovery. Fourth thing, a little bit about, a little bit about pro progressive overload. And the fifth thing is kids and weight training. So five things. The first two are practical examples. So I'm going to get everyone to, I'll, I'll just write up on the board. Then I need to get four volunteers. So I'll get everyone to come out the front shortly. Sure. The first one that we're going to do is called the Fulham Wall Sit. This is named after the Fulham um, football team over in England. And it's one of their training tools. So you're really lucky to get this. And I'm about to show you one of the training tools that they use every week. In fact, they do this two times every week. I'm going to give this to you free. And we'll the room. Fulham Wall Sit. Cool. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in your school classroom. You can do it down at the football club. You can do it at the Aussie Rules Club or the Cricket Club. Anywhere. It involves a wall sit for 20 seconds. Then involves a wall sit on your tippy toes for 10 seconds. And then involves a wall sit. Toes up for 10 seconds. So it's 40 seconds worth of wall sit. Let's have a look at this. I'll get four volunteers. Let's do some exercise. Who can come out to the front wall, please? Volunteers. Everyone else can get up. I think you're falling asleep. We've got some red dots here. Come out the front so you can have a look at this. I'll get the wall, please. You're another volunteer, right? Stare up again. Other volunteer. Yeah, you can go on the side of the two.
Now they repeat that three times through. So they get down to the bottom, half of the toes up, they have to go back to the top and go through it continuous. And they're doing it for two minutes continuous, which is a bit of muscle endurance. Exactly what happens in a game of soccer. So that's the full and wall sit, the first piece of um, exercise that we're going to do today. The second one that we're going to have a look at is called the Freeman Circuit. Push-ups. <laughs> beauty number two. Side crunches. Number three. Side crunches. Number four. Prone bridge. Five. Shoulder touches. This is the nasty one. This is where it gets, starts to get hard. Number six, dips. Now again, this is one of Kathy Freeman's training tools that she used to win gold at the Sydney 2000 Olympics. We're about to do it here. So you're lucky tonight. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Particularly <laughs> our volunteers. Don't run away yet. Don't run away. What we're going to do is we're going to pop down there. One of the partners or one of the volunteers is going to be back behind the chair just holding it out so it doesn't slide. So push-ups. Obviously everyone knows how to do push-ups. You can either do push-ups on toes or knees. It can be staged. Side crunches, just crunching up to the side. This is working your obliques. We have to even you up, so we go over the other side. Into a prone bridge. Into shoulder touches, if you can just keep holding that chair for me. This is where it gets hard. Try to keep your body as still as possible. And then into dips to finish off with. Again, you can do that bent leg. So, gentlemen, start your engines down here for push ups. What we're going to do is we're going to hold each of these for 30 seconds. Does anyone have a watch? I'm a bit of a dud tonight. You're my time, well, you're my timekeeper, yep, timekeeper. So, down for push ups, please. 30 seconds each one, and go. So we go continuous, we go straight from push-ups to side crunches, to side crunches, to prone bridge, shoulder touches, dips. That will take three minutes. So if you just call change when, when 30 seconds is up. What we're looking for in push-ups is we're looking for natural curves through our spinal cord, so the natural curves through the body. Five seconds. And change. So we're just side crunches. Side crunches down to the side. Crunching up to the legs, down on the ground. Crunching up to the ceiling. That's it. Good. This is working our, our, our oblique, some of our core muscles. Keep going. Change. Change on the side, so roll up to the side. That's it. <laughs> it's a prone bridge, I think you've got some dodgy calls, you're going to have to prone bridge, so elbows and toes, and the knee. And so again, as we look at prone bridge, we want natural posture, natural curves through your body. This exercise actually can tell you a lot about someone's, someone's strength, the prone bridge. Any weaknesses often come out in the prone bridge. Does, doesn't get much better with this. Does, shoulder touches, feet up onto the bench. And this is where it's, the rock starts to set in. This is the good bit. Up on tippy toes. Now, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Try to keep your body as still as possible. So you've got to use your glutes and your abs to control this. <laughs> legs out straight. Here's those legs out straight. And I'll go around and stop. And so, where did you feel that, boys? Where, where was that? Core. Oh, no, I'm not going to here. Upper body. Core stability? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Upper body, yeah. So, particularly that shoulder touches, that's working your, your, your deep 